Hi everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball. 12 box hobby case, pick your team number one. A lot of good stuff here, all card ship. A lot of fun uh, variations right here. Here's cardboardconnection.com. If you're watching live, I'm gonna drop the link in the chat. So there'll be some of those variation codes right here. Not a big variation list, but I think we should be able to spot some of those variations, hopefully somewhat easily. Just want to kind of give myself a quick visual look on this. I know there, there's some that we'll have to keep an eye out for that aren't pictured here, but here's a small example of what we're looking for. But all cards ship, so in case I, uh, in case I miss a variation, don't worry, you'll be getting it. Very big thanks to everyone here for making this happen. Thanks for picking your team straight up. And congrats again to the winners of the teams. We need to do a couple fillers to get here, but in the end, we got it done. So thanks everyone for making this happen. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means somehow, some way, you won some spots there. I think official last spot mojo ended up going to Justin, who got the reds. So 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. All right, so there's Chrome Hobby. Let's pop this open. Let's see what we got. Good luck. All right, hey, Jesse, see you, man. Have a good one. All right, two autographs per box on average. We got Luis Robert and Ronald Acuna on the cover. Good luck. We got Yankees at Braves on in the background. Now I was, I was talking with uh, Chad before this video and uh, we were talking a little Mariners baseball. What does everyone think? You think the Mariners can make the playoffs? They're only two and a half games. They won today. They're only two and a half games behind the Oakland A's. See, I've been playing some good baseball. They're ahead of Toronto by a couple games. Oakland's ahead of them with one and a half games. And Oakland's lost four in a row. Seattle's won a few in a row, a couple against the A's, which has helped them big time. They've got some young pitching. They've got some good hitting. They've got youngsters, some, some crafty veterans. they got a good balance there, an excellent bullpen. And the Braves scoring a couple runs early in the bottom of the first against the Yankees. So it could be interesting. I think we're, we're getting into a really fun part of the sports calendar. they got... The, the September run for baseball, NFL starting up. Within another month or the next couple of months, September, October, are going to be excellent. I think golf is wrapping up their, their season, the, the playoffs. Basketball starting up in a couple of months. World Series in October, playoff baseball in October. That's gonna be a lot of great, a lot of great things happening over the next couple of months, sports-wise. So, stick with Jaspies, and we'll uh, we'll be talking about all the games, breaking open all the product all year long. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Remember, all card ship. So if I if you see me miss a variation, don't worry. Everything's going to ship, and we'll do an autograph. Uh, do an autograph and maybe low parallel recap at the end. A lot of great stuff here. There's you, Darvish. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Refractor. I know the numbers are kind of hard to see there. I think that's just a regular one. You Darvish, Hyper, Parallel. You 
Darvish Cubs edition again. There's Adalberto Mondesi to 199 for the Royals. Rex was in here earlier saying that, uh, sharing something, a did you know sort of thing, that the Cubs were going to choose Carlos Correa with their number six pick in 2012, but the Astros surprised everyone and grabbed him instead. Interesting, Carlos Correa on the on the Cubs. There is Tajay Anton for the Reds. Last spot mojo strikes again. Justin Humphrey. This is Gio Urshela. We got Paul Goldschmidt, Hyper. DJ LeMahieu, Refractor. And speaking of the Cubs, there's Tyson Miller, rookie auto for the Cubs, Jonathan. And Trevor Story hinting? What, what has Trevor Story said to hint that he wants to go to Wrigley? That's what Rex was reporting a little bit earlier. It's Evan White, Hyper. Jock Peterson, still Dodgers edition there. All right, next box. Fun series for the Dodgers, and they're playing the Padres. Padres are have been reeling a little bit. They fired their pitching coach recently. So I don't know, maybe maybe that gives gives them a boost, but. You know, divisional matchup. Doesn't matter how hot the Dodgers have been or how cold the Padres have been. It's going to be exciting. Padres still in the mix, I think. They're just a game behind in a wild card spot. So they're still they're still in it. Dodgers, of course, trying to win the division. Try to get that squared away. Avoid that. Avoid that one game playoff. I don't know. It'd be good for TV, though. Dodgers, Padres. Ooh, that's Stanton with a homer. Ooh. He's got a big grin on his face. That was a bomb. Oh, that guy threw it back. His friend was like, don't throw it back. Do you get it? Do you get it? I get it. May depend on the stadium or the context. Do you get ejected from the stadium if you throw a home run ball back? Reds have the second wild card spot. They, I feel like they've been quietly playing some really good baseball. Box two, good luck. Shane Bieber. And they got a Tyler Glass now, Fuchsia Speckle, 94 out of 350 for Tampa Bay. That's going to go to Matthew Shira. That color really pops. I like it. There's Kiva Ruiz, Hyper. Dodgers edition. Dallas Keuchel. Say with Joe Adele, Otani. Let's see if we can find a parallel on that uh, 
on that Joe Adele for Matt, Matt D. And our first autograph out of this box is Patrick Weigel. Rookie auto for Dan and the Braves. Ryan Yarbrough. Jake Cronenworth, Refractor. And a gold wave, Mike Moustakis. Five out of 50 for the Red Legs, Justin Humphrey. And Brian with the Cronenworth Refractor. And there is uh, Ali Sanchez. Jarrett K with the Mets. Clayton Kershaw. Arzarena, Davy Garcia, and a base Cronenworth. All right, another two autographs in the books. Next box. Because uh, Yankees have a real good chance to win that division. They're only four games back of the Tampa Bay Rays. The Yankees have won 10 in a row. It's crazy. Meanwhile, Baltimore has lost 18 in a row. I don't know if Cleveland's going to have a shot at the division. They've been playing a lot better baseball lately, but they're still a little ways back from unless Chicago just, unless the White Sox just melt down. Although they, White Sox have lost their last three, and Cleveland has won their last three, but Cleveland's still nine games back. It's a lot to make up in September, or the rest of August, but another six, seven days in August, and then September. A's can still win the division, four games back, although their four-game losing streak is not helping. Could the Mariners win the division? Only five games back. Houston would have to fall apart, but it's possible. Could Philadelphia win the division? Philadelphia's four and a half games back of the Braves. Braves have won nine of their last ten. I think they had nine in a row before they lost the Yankees last night. I don't know. Phillies, I feel like they look so they look great on paper, but they just haven't really put it together. Milwaukee's cruising, but Cincinnati also playing good baseball. Seven and a half games back. And they, they have the wild card spot right now, the second wild card spot right now with my Dodgers. Dodgers only two and a half games back of the Giants. They're definitely looking to win that division, avoid that wild card game. That could be, that would be kind of crazy. That might be a Giants Padres wild card situation there, Giants Reds. Uh, William Contreras. Juan Soto Refractor. Tariq Skubal for the Tigers. We got a Tristan McKenzie green wave. He's been playing some excellent baseball. 26 out of 99. He's got that sort of lanky Pedro Martinez kind of body there. That goes to Matthew Shira and the Cleveland Indians. 
And our autograph is Nick Madrigal. That's for Brandon and the White Sox. Brandon won that spot in the jumbo pack break. Won a team random spot, then got randomized. The White Sox ends up with the Nick Madrigal, who before his injury felt like was on a possible rookie of the year sort of campaign. And then was involved in that trade. So he's, he's going to be uh, with the Cubs now. But nice first auto there. And our next auto is Alex Vasia. This is Marlins edition. I think Alex Vasia is with the Dodgers now. Randall has the Dodgers. Sorry, Randall, that's not for you. It's going to be for Coppola. I don't know how he ended up with the Dodgers, but. But Alex Vasia, now I'm curious. Who's bad, Brandon? Not you're not talking about Nick Madrigal, are you? Because you would be wrong. Vasia uh, traded Vasia and Kyle Hurd of Dodgers stage for Dylan Flora. Gotcha. This black and white kettle Marte. There's a Christian Pache refractor. Another Jake Cronenworth refractor. You're jo you were joking about Nick Madrigal, right? This guy was one of the top prospects in uh, in the White Sox organization. He could win a batting title someday. Fourth overall pick in the draft. Yeah, he's pretty good. Ryan Harold, what's going on? No, you're not in on Nick Madrigal? All right. Well, it's easier for you to sell Nick Madrigal. Top five pick, a hitter. I think he's still he's still uh, I think even even with even only logging in 200 at bats this season, he's got like a 1.3 WAR already, 305 batting average, 317 over his short career. He's gonna be pretty good. Well, Brandon, at least you won a team. <laughs> at, least, at, at least you won a team in that filler, got randomized a team here, and actually got an autograph. So let's look on the bright side then. It's better than getting nothing. There's DJ LeMayhew to 399, Fuchsia. Bennett with the Yankees, who are uh, we're down 2-1 to the Braves right now. It's Joey Bart, Refractor. 
For the Giants, that's going to be for Randall. And I believe these are. this is a one per case situation. Captain's Cloth. Well, it's actually Captain's Bat, right? The Brooks Robinson. Nice. Randall Ness with the legend. Brooks Robinson. Nice. And there's Jared Walsh. He's an all-star this year. He's been hitting the ball really well. Angels, Matthew. And we got Dalton Jeffries, A's. That's going to be Dan O with Oakland. Autograph in here somewhere. And it's going to be Ryan Jeffers. Dalton Jeffries and Ryan Jeffers. This rookie autograph going to the Twins. Steve Birch, Minnesota. 109 out of 499. Shirt and Apostle. For the Rangers, and that'll be for Patrick Davis. All right, so nice case hit there. Again, we'll do an autograph recap at the end. Next box. I'm pretty sure Alex Kirloff is a rookie for your twin, Steve Birch. As well as that twin right there, Ryan Jeffers. Still on a super fracker hunt. We have not seen one. Next box, two more autographs, parallels. Let's see if we can find a fun variation to a short print would be nice. It's Nick Madrigal, silver, or a refractor. It's for Brandon and the White Sox. Let's look for some Jazz Chisholm, I wanna see some Jazz Chisholm parallels as well. Look for that guy as well. There's Corey Seeger, refractor. And we got a blue Salvador Perez. Nice color match with this team. 37 out of 150. Kansas City, Bennett with the Royals.
and we got Matt Foster. White Sox, Brandon with another one. Should be one more in here. It's Corey Seeger Refractor. Nice orange Paul DeYoung, 16 out of 25 for the Cardinals. Benjamin with the Redbirds. And the autograph is Taylor Widener, rookie autograph for Bennett and the Snakes. Ronald Acuna Jr. I don't think that's I think that's just a regular refractor, not a short print. Is that Mookie Betts? Is that Acuna Jr. No, that's 310 on the back, so that's the normal one. I think this is the regular refractor as well. This is not a short print, but all card chip. Wait, is that a short print Acuna? Him diving? No, that's the that's the base one. The code is three ten on the back. The variation short prints are three fifty. His variation is the one where he's wearing the uh, that sleeveless undershirt. With the with his uh, thirteen chain on here. So yeah, a refractor, not a variation, or a, not a not a short print. Next box. Yeah, a lot of the other ones are diving, though. Yeah, the Tatis Jr.'s him diving. Yelich is of him sliding into into home. So there, there's a few that are they're sliding into a bag. Sean Jaspi, what's going on? Did you hit a super last night by chance in any of these Topps Chrome boxes? Or is the or is the super search continuing? this box will be halfway through this full case break 12 box hobby pick your team number one we've got more hobby and more uh tops chrome baseball jumbo edition in the store no super interesting so but thomas said he picked a box for a customer who put a vet super non-auto all right all right but the group breakers have not the breakers on Instagram where you two have not pulled a a super yet. So the super search continues. 155 out of 350. Fuchsia, Speckle, Jared Walsh, Matthew with the Halos. Right, yeah, the 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 Tatis diving 
uh, short print will be pretty rare because I don't think they're going to have them do that. They're not going to have them dive around anymore. For the Astros, Luis Garcia. That's going to be for Fred. Promising power, prismic power, not promising, prismic power, Mike Trout. And there's Dane Dunning, another White Sox autograph for Brandon. Gold Wave Auto, 35 out of 50. Leo Tavares. Labor Day. It's a Bobby Dalbeck. Nice Joe Adele insert, mid 80s insert, refractor. The Bobby Dalbeck goes to Joe P and the Red Sox. He's got some upside, Dalbeck. Halfway through this full case break. All right, next box up, Rex. How far are we from Fresno? We're we're a decent ways away from Fresno, probably. It's got to be at least three or four hours. Fresno, I want to say, without traffic. You hear about the guy that was messing with himself while driving and crashing into two cars in Fresno? Just had to take care of business, huh? Right then and there. Just curious. That, some may argue that's par for the course for Fresno. in front of a, of a Dickies clothing store? It's kind of funny. Got a blue wave autograph, Josh Fleming, Rays. Matthew, the Rays. 
130 out of 150. Brian Hayes insert and a Umberto Mejia rookie autograph for the Snakes. Bennett Diamondbacks. I think all of these cards have like that little mark right there, which keeps making me think that it's a piece of dust or something like that. It's not. It's just part of the art on the back, which is a little odd. They're all there. Another Jared Walsh, 52 out of 199 this time for the Angels. Matthew. Next box. <laughs> Whoa, Sam, shots fired. Braves still up 2 1 on the Yankees. Top of the fourth. Aaron Judge up the bat. shot down the right field line for Aaron Judge. It's a stand-up double for him. This lineup, he, I mean, I guess they, they've won nine, nine or ten games in a row, but your three, four, five hitters are Aaron Judge, Joey Gallo, and Giancarlo Stanton. Jeez. Orange Wave, Mike Trout. That's for Matthew, who picked up the Angels straight up. Gets the 7 out of 25. Mike Trout, Orange Wave. Looks really sharp. Verdugo Refractor. Austin Hayes. And we've got a Edward Olivares 
rookie autograph for the Royals. Bennett, Kansas City. Got a Ryan Mountcastle, 129 out of 299. Purple Chrome. Jared Walsh Refractor. A lot of Angels color popping. Especially Jared Walsh. That trout was nice too. And Andrew Vaughn, another white sock for Brandon in this Topps Chrome break. Nice. Four seventy-seven out of four ninety-nine. Another big up-and-coming prospect for the White Sox. I did, Rex. I did. I didn't realize that Korea that the Cubs were in on Korea. And where'd you hear the where'd you hear the Trevor Story news? Some like, you know, Cubs fan blog one two three at Cubs fan one two three said that on Twitter, or is someone legit actually saying it? I think a lot of teams will be in on Trevor's story. I think Carlos Correa is a free agent too. Trevor Story is a free agent. Carlos Correa and Corey Seager. So there'll be a few. And then Lindor, of course, off the market, got traded to the Mets, and then it got extended by the Mets. But still, three three big shortstops that could get big paydays. was quoting an interview from Trevor Story. And that, is this something that where he was like 17 years old and be like, I would love to play for in Wrigley Field someday? I need context, Rex. That's important. What if he, what if he said, I'd love to play in any of the, uh, what if it was, the interview was, was what old ballparks do you like? And he's like, oh, I would love to play in Wrigley or Fenway. Or Dodger Stadium. Oh, everyone says that though, Rex. That's what I love about Cubs fans. They'll, they'll, they'll like they'll read into this. He was basically saying how much he loves Wrigley. The atmosphere is so much different from anywhere else. I feel like every player says that. I don't know. If I'm Trevor Story, though, I'm not. I'm not signing with a with a, a rebuilding team like the Cubs. Yeah, after spending your career in Colorado, there's no way. No way you're going to the Cubs. I mean, if I'm Trevor Story, I'd sign with the Yankees. Yeah, that's where he should have went. Yeah. Trevor Story's all right. There's Francisco Lindor, 18 out of 75. Career splits. Home? <laughs> Home hits 303. On the road, 
He hits 243. <laughs> he's got about the same A and he's got about the same AVs home and away. Home runs are kind of similar though. 93 home runs and then 57 away. Yeah. Yeah, the fences are kind of long there, though. I feel like you've got a better shot at, in, like, Fenway. No, I could hit it out in any stadium, but especially... Oh, yeah? <laughs> any ballpark? Yeah, maybe like pitches. <laughs> yeah, like a thousand pitches? I'm not talking about the game scenario. I'm talking about beat team. You got a redemption right there. 85 out of 299, Nick Senzel, Reds. So Bleacher Nation is saying that Trevor Story said he would listen to if the Cubs' upper management called him. Google Trevor Story, look at the top story, he said in an interview that he would listen if the Cubs are serious about the rebuild. It's Wilson Ramos to 199. You know what you know what I'd do? If if I was Trevor Story and his representation and I wanted to to crank up the the uh, the dollar figure in free agency. I'd get teams like the Cubs in on it, start a bidding war. Another White Sox. This time it's Luis Gonzalez for Brandon and the White Sox. There you go, Brandon. All right, behind Luis Robert, you were due to receive a rookie autograph of San Francisco? San Diego, San Diego, Jake Cronenworth, rookie autograph. Nice. That's uh, Brian Peoples who picked up his Padres straight up. Gets the Cronenworth auto. NBC Sports said Correa could be another option. Is this, is this NBC Sports Chicago? Just trying to get clicks from, uh, from Cubs fans. We're checking out of the season, so there's like, how do we get more clicks? I don't know. Let's just uh, let's just report some stories about Trevor's story and all the top free agents linking link them to the Cubs. I don't know. I don't know if the. I mean, in my opinion, the Cubs strategy personally shouldn't be uh, chasing after big name free agents like that. Yeah, I thought Cronenworth autographs were live, Brian. That, that, that kind of threw me off a little bit too. Maybe he had, maybe he did half of them and just didn't finish the other half. It's possible that you got a blue Cronenworth that was live. It's possible that. Um, yeah, it's possible that he had all the all the uh, variations signed, all the parallels signed. That is, and maybe not the base. I mean, I'll bet if, if I'm any card manufacturer, I'd want the parallels first. It's like, please sign your superfractor. <laughs> At the very least, sign your superfractors and the red ones. And the orange ones. Just sign all the parallels, please. You can do the base autos later. Well, Rex, Rex was saying that the Cubs really don't have a shortstop coming up for a while, so Trevor could be a good choice. 
or just draft a shortstop next year. Also, Trevor Story with uh, about 47 at-bats at Wrigley Field. That's 149 with one home run. It's across, uh, it's across about a dozen games. You sure you want him hitting in Wrigley? All right, next box. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Ed Howard's a shortstop. No, there's no way the Cubs are signing a shortstop. Why, why, would, why would you block the progress of, of Ed Howard? Because you know Tre Trevor Story, Carlos Correa, guys like that. There's Cabrian Hayes for the Pirates, for uh, Josh. Guys like that are looking for, they're looking for three, five, six, seven-year deals. There's uh, Luis Arreyes, 93 out of 99 for the Twins. See, I forgot about Ed Howard. Well, Brandon, at least you're getting stuff this time. Come on, I just can't win. If you get no stuff, not happy. You're getting autographs, still not happy. At least you're getting stuff. Uh, Brandon Bielek, Houston Astros. It's for Fred. There's uh, Blake Taylor, another Astro. Fred. No, I know it's all good. I mean, I mean, I hear you. I hear what you're saying, but little baby steps. Let's let's start by getting some hits first. Let's warm up to maybe getting you monsters after after that. It's a bit of a process. Well, I don't know. With the way Ed Howard looked in that, wasn't he? Wasn't he in that Future Stars game, Rex? I mean, he could be one of those guys that where it may only take two or three years. No injuries, two or three years out of high school, he could be right there. He's as touted as, as as he's supposed to be. Oh, I'm thinking of Brendan Davis. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it would be it would be great if the Cubs got a big name like that. Like Trevor Story or Carlos Cray, it just doesn't make sense for either of those players. Why would they want to go on a rebuilding team? And when they have Ed Howard behind them, if they have a couple bad seasons, then, you know, who knows? They're going to be traded somewhere. Then they have to deal with the hassle of getting traded. Just because, you know, what if Ed Howard starts looking really good, starts raking in the minors, and they start to think, well, we can get rid of your contract and bring up Ed Howard early. That's not a position that I would that I, I personally would want to be in. If you're a free agent and you got kind of a choice on where you can end up, then you know the market for Carlos Correa and Trevor Story is going to be pretty decent. Unless the Cubs do something silly and like way overpay these guys, which is possible. But then the likelihood of them just being traded because their contract is so big is also pretty big. So,
Uh, Jed Hoyer's going to spend money this winter, unlike what was originally planned? What are they doing out there? <laughs> Figure it out, Cubs. Are you rebuilding, or are you just going to buy your way into another thing? There's a Jorge Guzman, rookie auto for the Marlins, Capolo. Yeah, I think I think the Cubs maybe should take take a couple steps back and kind of continue rebuilding that farm system. There's Luis Patino, rookie auto for the Friars. That's going to be for Brian Peoples. 184 out of 199. We got a black and white Luke Voigt variation. Jazz Chisholm Hyper. That Jazz Chisholm Hyper is going to go to Coppola, and this is for Bennett and the Yankees, the Luke Voigt, black and white. Yeah, some color auto. There you go, Brian. Nice. Dylan Carlson. Are you a, this might be, are you a variation, Dylan? Yeah, that's a variation. Now, all card ship, I may have missed variations, but all card ship, so so keep an eye out on those little codes on the back, but codes 350, um, right, yeah, 350, if the number ends in 350, it's a short print, and the super short prints are 356, this is 350. Um, so, and Dylan Carlson's got some upside, too. Who has the Cardinals again? Benjamin with the Redbirds. Nice short print. There's Mount Castle, Hyper. Josh Hader, Refractor, and Walker Bueller back here. Last box coming up. We'll do an autograph and short print recap. Maybe there'll be more short prints. Our last chance for a one of one. I promise my colleague Thomas, who picked this case, it's not a bad case actually, but I promise Thomas, if he picked a case with a Super Refractor in it, he gets a cool, crisp $20 bill into his hands, right out of the ATM. Gotta find an ATM. What are we looking at our, in our order situation here? We've got just, just five orders coming in here? Two from the same person. All right, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to reset and uh, gear ourselves up for, uh, for whatever the next break is going to be. How about those hit packs? The Blazing 24 hit packs. We just have two of those fillers to go. Chance to win hit pack spots. we got 11 spots left in the one on the side right now, if you're watching live. That's mini box number two. And remember, if you buy a spot, you can win an additional filler spot, which should give you better odds if you win those extra spots. Should give you, will give you extra odds, slightly better odds to win one of those Blazing 24 spots. So a little extra incentive to try those fillers if you haven't done so already. But we got to do two mini boxes, break number two and break number three. That's on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now. Got a good feeling about doing those hit packs tonight, but we just gotta we just gotta get a little momentum going on it. So if you go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, should be on the top of the page. And for those of you watching live right now, I just dropped the link to the mini box in the chat right now. 
$64.99 could win you a $600 spot. $64.99 could win you an extra spot. You can get two for the price of one with a little bit of luck. And then with those savings, you could win a $600 hit pack spot. And those $600 hit packs, high risk, high reward. Some of, some of the cards in those hit packs could be, and it's a multi-sport, some of those cards in those hit packs could be over $1,400. Some of them could only be $150. Some of them are gonna be right about the cost of the pack. But you'll be guaranteed something. All right, here is the last box. Good luck, everybody. Is Ben Intendi running out onto the field? That's just a regular refractor. That might be a, a variation. There's Tatis Jr. Refractor. Not a variation though, or not a short print though. That's where he's diving into second base it looked like. Tristan McKenzie Hyper. He's been playing pretty good. This is not a short print. A nice card though. All card ship. We got a Fuchsia. Tyler Stevenson, 145 out of 399 for the Red Legs. Justin. And another White Sox autograph, Dane Dunning. That's going to go to Brandon and the Southsiders. We've got Kwon Hyun Kim. 295 out of 299. Purple chrome for the Cardinals, Benjamin. Jock Peterson's angry. He's not happy. What happened? Get hit by a pitch? A lot of F-bombs there, Jock. saw that, Rex. I don't know if I'm able to afford any of those Vin Scully NFTs. And our last autograph is Albert Abreu. Rookie auto, purple chrome for Bennett and the Bronx Bombers. Bennett won that in a filler break. 238 out of 250 from the filler filler break. So even better. There's some base Bobby Dalbeck, Kershaw, well, it looks like the Super Search in a ref Shohei Otani refractor. Looks like the Super Search is going to continue. So we got more Topps Chrome in the store. We got jumbos. We got hobbies. We got all sorts of fun stuff. Here's a quick autograph and short print uh, recap. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it. Some nice color in the mix as well. Love it. There was your captain's cloth. Piece of the bat, actually, not cloth. And there you go. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball 12-box hobby case. Pick your team number one. Again, I'm Joe Jaspi, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.